Please welcome Kayla Lunnan, Helena High math teacher. Welcome everybody, and I am the lucky person who gets to go first. So, um, we laugh, and I heard a few chuckles, and I'm hoping it's not at me, but at the slide, um, that this is actually true in some instances. I teach at the high school level, so I actually don't get to have these parent-teacher conferences, but I do have these meetings. So my challenge to you would be, what if it would look like if we had those before school started? Okay, what would it do to our classroom if we could do those before school even started? Um, and there's a great project out there. It's called the Parent-Teacher Home Visit Project. And what it does is it bridges the school and the home. It allows for us to meet those families where they're at in their home, in their comfortable couch, living room, dining room, um, and be able to get to know them a little bit before school starts. We at the Helena High School had started home visits at the high school level for the past four years. Um, it started out with two teams. Um, there was 10 of us, uh, or excuse me, we did 10 visits each, so a total of 20 visits. And we had great success. Um, and not success what you would normally think about in success, as in terms of we had automatic 4.0 students on those um, students that we visited, but other successes, which I'm gonna share with you today. Um, I'm gonna give you three synopsis of, of students and go through them. Um, our first student is an individual who um, ended up cutting himself. He was in a really bad spot on his home visit. His father was going through a very bad divorce. It was very clear. And um, it transferred into his school life. Um, the counselor, who had no prior relationship with the student or her, his father, tried calling home saying, we need to get some help. We need to get some help. Um, that was unsuccessful. The dad didn't want the judgment, and so there was no counseling available to this, this student. My partner, who went on the home visit with me, had a great relationship with the father, was able to call the dad and say, hey, your son really needs some help. Worked with his, through his feelings about feeling judged by his son, um, what it would look like, and we were able to get this son into some counseling and able to get him some help that he needed that the counselor suggested, but without that relationship was unable to make happen. Um, my second student, who I want to talk about, was a girl who had very severe anxiety, so bad that on her home visit, she got a bloody nose and started crying for us just being in her house. Um, she wanted to go to the smaller school that was right down the road from us. Um, we have a population of about 1,600 kids, and so that is very fearful for some students. And she was a big athlete, she um, had a lot of spirit, and so we just thought we would have more opportunities for at the high school level. So we talked to her, gave her a familiar face, and she ended up coming to Helena High. As a freshman, she started on JV for the volleyball. As a sophomore, junior, and now a senior, she is starting varsity for our volleyball team and our track and field. Um, she still gets anxious, it's not a, a catch-all. I mean, it didn't cure it, but she comes to me now and we are able to work through her anxiety and get a plan for her. I only had her her freshman year, so I'm still a connection for her in the school, which is really awesome. Um, the third student I want to talk to you about was quite interesting. Um, we met at a diner, so not in their house. They were uncomfortable with us coming to their home, and they all ordered meatloaf, the whole family. They sat down, three plates of meatloaf, and then they had their own bag of creamer that they brought to the diner. Um, they were very comfortable there. And the son didn't look up, didn't look at us, didn't say anything, wouldn't even make eye contact. Again, another student who suffered from anxiety, come to find out later that he was on a 504 for missing school. So he'd get sick, then he would miss school, and then he'd have anxiety about missing school, so he'd miss more school. And so he could miss up to three weeks. Well, after that visit, giving him a familiar face, he didn't miss more than 15 days the whole year. Now, our policy is allowed 10 days per semester, and he didn't even come close to that. And his mom attributes that to the home visit or the diner visit. Um, and so I just want you to soak this in a little bit. Um, if we work together, we, aren't blame, we don't blame each other. And I guess in the home visit, I've learned that parents just want what's best for their children. Um, they may not know how to go about doing that, and so they end up pointing fingers at 
at the educators, the principals, but if we can join up and make it happen, we can step away from the blame that happens. Um, again, more blaming. <laughs> and if we, again, can make this connection with the home, I mean, how wonderful would it be able to call up a parent and say, you know your student or your child best. You're the expert on your child. I'm the expert in math, at least I like to believe I am. Okay, and how can we make that, connect that together so that both of us can make things um, happen in the classroom, you know, for their future, and eventually, in our case, get them to graduation. Um, the home visits have not only helped my students, but my parents. Um, I had a, a, a lady who was being evicted. Well, if my parent is being evicted, my child, my student, is also being evicted. And she didn't know who to reach out to, and so she contacted me. Um, it was very overwhelming, because I'm like, well, how am I gonna help this lady? I don't know who to call, but I didn't have to do anything. I just had to give her some, the counselor or some resources, and then it took care of itself. So we help our community of families through that way. Um, this was a barbecue, a community barbecue we held just um, a couple weeks ago. We invited, we have three feeder schools, um, over s like 400 students who come to Helena High from different areas, and we held a barbecue and invited families and students, and we weren't expecting a whole lot, but we had about 350 people show up. So we told us that our community wants to connect with our high school, and we need to fulfill that need in some way. So I guess to wrap it up, that our, there is a need, even at the high school level, to connect, and it's not an elementary thing to connect with families. We just may look a little bit different, and we need to instruct people on how to do that.